dann die Regie. Sind wir drauf? Wir sind drauf, ja. Herzlich willkommen dann zu einer neuen Folge von Jam in the Basement bei Jazz Rock TV hier in unseren heiligen Hallen in Köln. Und wir haben heute auch wieder ganz besondere Gäste, die live für euch im Livestream spielen. Ähm, eine internationale Band, äh, muss man sagen, äh, hört ja gleich noch ein bisschen äh, mehr dazu. Das äh, Wojtek Justina Trio, mit dem wir schon seit, wir haben eben überlegt, Jahren in Kontakt sind. Jetzt endlich ist es soweit, wir haben sie hier bei uns. Ähm, Funk ähm, und World Jazz, jetzt habe ich den Slogan vergessen. Funk äh, at the bottom, World Jazz on top. Genau, live hier im Studio mit einem grandiosen Publikum wieder und ich wünsche uns allen äh, viel Spaß.
So my name is Wojtek Justyna. I'm the leader of the Wojtek Justyna Trio, a very international band featuring Daniel Lottesberger on the electric bass guitar from Austria, Diogo Caravaglio on percussion from Portugal, Alex Bernard from Germany on the drums, and myself, Wojtek Justyna from Poland on the electric guitar. And uh, right now we're promoting our brand new album, our third album, which is called Thrice. We're doing a tour all over Germany, and we're happy to play at Jazz Rock TV. So we started to play with uh, Daniel and Alex, and we met uh, during our studies at the conservatory in The Hague in Holland. And so we were actually uh, quite, we were, we were studying jazz, but we were not really jazz musicians because we loved also all different types of music. And I personally, uh, although I love the, the upright bass, I'm not a big fan of uh, playing with that instrument because I don't really hear the notes, you know, like it's too bassy for me always. So the guitar, the bass guitar is more powerful. And Daniel was one of the few guys that played uh, electric bass at the school. And, that, and Alex was always uh, into funk. So that kind of brought us together and we started to play first some funk tunes, some, uh, some covers from Jaco Pastorius and from John Schofield. But uh, I was also writing my own music uh, at that time. So we started to try um, my, my own tunes. And uh, a lot of that uh, was captured on the first album. Uh, and after a while, we've been, we've been playing with uh, Daniel and Alex for quite a long time. And at some point, I thought, ah, we, need a, we need something to refresh. We need to uh, be a little bit different, also just for ourselves, to, to have some more inspiration, to, uh, to clear our minds and kind of break out of, of certain pa patterns that we, we were following. And I met uh, Diogo during uh, a recording of another project, and I was like, oh, this is, uh, this is cool. He's a super nice guy. I remember uh, we were recording, he was standing right next to me so I could really hear what he was bringing to the music. And I thought, yeah, this is really cool because I kn knew that I didn't want to have a keyboard player or a saxophone. I didn't want it to be like cliche. And then I thought, okay, why not percussion? This is a completely different color. It strengthens the groove, uh, brings uh, some other different, rhythmical elements to the picture. And of course I had to think about uh, bands like Weather Report, for instance, which, which featured uh, uh, percussion and that gave a lot of the sound to the band. So instead of um, adding keyboards or different instruments, I thought, okay, percussion is gonna be cool. And we tried, uh, well, we didn't try, we played together. I invited Diogo uh, to join us on the release of uh, our first album as the new element. And uh, yeah, and we've been playing together ever since as the tree O. And uh, yeah, again, he brings the, the, he brought the world music elements to the picture. So we call our music funk on the bottom and world jazz on top, since we have the strong bass and the groove and the rhythm, and uh, we take the harmonies and improvisations uh, of jazz and then the colors of uh, world music. <laughs>
we were all studying jazz. We met, we met studying jazz at the, at the conservatory in the, in the Hague. So we were anyways, you know, in all the jazz classes and learning the jazz from the bebop and the hard bop and stuff. And, but I always had a love for funk music um, and I've been always looking for people to play funk music with. And then, you know, we met, I think it must have been at a, a combo class, something that we, we met and kind of found out that also Daniel is, uh, is uh, playing um, electric bass. And at that school, that's that's quite a special thing because at that school, it's so old school jazz, bebop type thing that there's actually only upright bass players there and only a handful of people play electric bass. So we tried them all out and Daniel played the best. <laughs> I was invited for a, a project uh, with three singers and uh, it happened that uh, in that moment, Wojtek was playing the same project and we met each other and afterwards he invited me for it uh, to be part of the band. Uh, first to make the release album of uh, his first album. And I'm just part of the trio nowadays. Uh, I. As Wojtek said, um, I was studying classical music and I didn't like so much anymore to work on that scene uh, as what happened with him with jazz and funk. With me was classical music, world music. And uh, yeah, I took the choice of uh, leaving the classical music life and going to the Netherlands to learn the world music. Uh, and that's what I, I studied and that's what I, I bring to the band. I'm from Austria and, uh, and I just took a year off and I wanted to see what's going on abroad and I uh, went to The Hague and I uh, thought what could go possibly wrong, you know, and then I met, I met uh, Wojtek, so <laughs> now I'm here. <laughs> and, uh, yes, and I, I went there actually to study double bass, it's a very good school to do that and, uh, and uh, I think accidentally I took once my electric bass, he saw me and uh, he took me. It's unique for me to play with such a percussion setting like this, and, and Dioga plays everything well, so there's a lot, a lot to learn and, uh, and experience together. It's really nice. I enjoy it.
So the way this album was written was quite different uh, than the previous albums since Corona broke out and uh, we couldn't play, we couldn't tour, so we decided to lock ourselves up in a house in the middle of the woods in Poland where my parents actually uh, are living. We set up our instruments, uh, more or less uh, as you see here in the living room, and just started playing. Uh, we had a few ideas that we first brought to the table that we were uh, working on previously. But most of the things uh, that uh, ended up on the album were developed from the jams that we were uh, doing every day. And from these jams, I put everything into the computer and started to uh, build the productions uh, with our friends. And we started to uh, send files back and forth. And from that, this tune slowly started to uh, develop. And actually, um, right before going into the studio to record the album, another lockdown uh, came to be. So uh, we again went to the house of my parents. We had a whole tour of 10 days that got canceled. So we went back to the house and started to uh, rehearse the tunes and just play them every day and jam on them, uh, play our solos, maybe change the arrangements a little bit. And uh, after, those, uh, after that week, we went into the studio, also in Poland, the beautiful studio in the mountains, and uh, recorded this uh, album. If you would like to get the new album, of course, it's available on all streaming platforms. Um, the CDs and vinyl, we have beautiful vinyl out uh, that has been getting a, a great response on this tour. Uh, that's available always at our, co at our concerts. And uh, Bandcamp, if you want to order things, uh, physical things directly, you can do that through Bandcamp. Or if you see things passing by on Instagram, just send me a, a DM and uh, I'll get a CD or a vinyl to you, no problem. And of course, I invite everybody to our website, wojtekjustyna.com. And uh, yeah, I know it's a difficult name, okay? Just type in tree O, and you will just get four pages of our stuff. You will find the music, you will find the website, you will find Instagram, you will find the guys from the band. So uh, tree O, there you go.
I'm not playing for dance in any type of uh, African tradition or ritual, uh, also not for a religious meeting, uh, for any orishas like they do also in Brazil and Cuba. Uh, I'm fusioning, so I'm bringing the world music to join the jazz and, and the funk uh, in my own way that uh, with the instruments I have learned, with the techniques I know, and in percussion there is so much things to learn. Every instrument has its own technique and uh, they have lots of culture and also education around each instrument. And it just makes me happy to have that space so I can fusion it uh, with lots of influence uh, of other artists, uh, like, for example, Weather Report, where uh, I was a big fan of uh, what Manolo Madrena did for all these years. And uh, yeah, we all have our influences, and I try to bring mine to the band. I'm a drummer, and then you we're, we're suggesting to bring a percussionist in the band. You know, I mean, that's just that's just for me. Uh, I couldn't imagine a better a better partner than uh, than a percussionist sitting next to me. The the grooves and the music has has been uplifting so much. I don't have to carry everything all the time by myself. But we we you know we share our parts. Who is leading? Who is who is playing? Who is talking? You know, and and who is supporting? And there's just so much more freedom and so much more groove to lock into together uh, with a drummer and a percussionist if you click like we click.
Daniel Lottesberger, Dio Carvalho, Alex Bernard Boy, thank you, Suna. Thank you so much for coming out. Thank you for tuning in at home. Thank you, Jazz Rock TV, for having us. Thank you guys for making all this happen. Have a great, great night. <laughs>